Yo, what is going on, T Squad? It is your boy T here, man. We are back with a brand new reaction video. Before we jump into this video, the amount of comments, tweets, and shit that I've received in the last like 12 hours, letting me know that Terrence Romeo has been traded, has been actually insane. Like, I've, so many people have like commented, like, "Did you hear Terrence Romeo has been traded?" Just stuff like that. I I did hear about it. Um, I heard about it from one of the homies ken on twitter he i'm um, tweeting me he was like yo turns romeo was traded i was just like like we all knew it was coming we all knew it was gonna happen but that actually when it finally happened it was just like holy shit like he's no longer playing for global but he is playing with his boy jason castro for tnt now my thoughts on it him and i think they traded a center name like yusuf or something like that for our um, mo I don't, I don't really know how I feel about that trade because apparently Mo really wasn't doing his thing with TNT considering he was like what round one pick for them or something like that. So for him not really you know being a huge asset for them, I think getting Terrence Romeo and a center to that squad is like a huge step up for them. I, I feel like they won that trade even though Terrence Romeo just came in from injury. You know what I'm saying? He might not be at at like peak right now. I still feel like considering Terrence Romeo's um basketball experience and you know his track record like that, that's a win that's a win for tnt that, that him terrence no, sorry terrence jason cash on the same team together and they play for gillis here so like their chemistry is already there so i mean i hey i feel like that's a win tnt in my opinion came out with a w in this trade man so i'm excited to see you know next season what tnt has to offer with these two playing together so i don't know just know that i know that he got traded i'm excited for this trade i am now I guess an honorary TNT fan because like you guys know Terrence Romeo is my favorite player whatever team he plays for I like that team so it was Global Port now I guess I'm a TNT fan so um yeah that's that but as you can read by the title we're going to be reacting to somebody I've never reacted to on my channel before Kamaka Hippa he's a Phil Am right now um this video was actually dropped about a month ago is it uh, a little over a month ago um it's his whatever it takes from huddle I I, I used to have a huddle um back when i was in uh las vegas playing for impact that's the um if you go back on my channel and watch the um, highlights of myself that i um reacted to that video that i reacted to is from huddle itself but um that's the precise point um i really don't know what to expect from this kid i hear a lot of good things a lot of people wanted me to react to him in the past before i just didn't feel like you know it was worth reacting to but now <sighs> i don't know I'm, I'm finally doing it okay so without further ado guys hope you guys are excited for this video t squad let's get into it Kamaka is a well-rounded individual. You know, he's got a big heart. He's very humble. He's the one who told mom and dad that I should think about going to play basketball somewhere else. Where was he? Was he living he in the it Philippines was, it was a before? Tough move. It was very tough for for us to leave Barrow. I think okay. he felt maybe he was going to let people down if he did move. But he knew. Bruh, in his see, look, heart, see, that is the kind of mindset as a player that you can't have. Like you can't. As a growing like player at his age, like you can't be like, damn, if I leave my country or something like that, like everybody's gonna be disappointed with me. Like that's no. You need to do at a young age, like as a growing basketball player with so much talent, you need to do what's best for your career. And if leaving your country to go to another country is what you feel like is best for you and it's gonna upbring your game in the best way possible, that's what you gotta do. You cannot think about what everybody else around you is gonna think like damn like he fake for that he he, he not real to his like fuck that nah i'm trying to go somewhere where i can improve my skill i have more opportunity to become a bigger basketball player than what i could be where i am now so just that mindset right there i mean i understand you know he like they said he was a humble player you know what i'm saying like he has a lot of like, i guess you know passion for his country and stuff like that but at the end of the day man you gotta do what's best for you so if it's if it comes down to you having to leave to go somewhere else and you gotta you gotta make that decision for yourself man. that if he wanted to get the offers from d1 schools that the move is going to be very exactly important. yeah i agree 100 percent. everything starts with a question is this what you want to do kamaka such a dope name too not a lot of coaches are making that trip up to barrow alaska to recruit oh, Alaska. Okay. That Sorry about that, guys. Better, you have to explore new territory, Six, nine? explore new environments. Damn. Six foot nine. God damn. You could. No, you could have made it from Alaska. Shit. Just that height and being good at basketball. You ain't need to go to nowhere. Poland. It was a really big culture shock. 
just the difficulty of having to up and leave your home of 16 years living in a big city and being thrown into a whole new environment yeah portland okay growing up in barrow alaska was a really different experience but i was blessed to grow up there just because of how like how tight-knit the community really is and how how much people really care about you you can tell just by the barrow way he talks he's so like he's, he's got a good hit on the shoulders the only way to get there is to fly there is no shopping centers, there is no movie theaters, and there is no bowling alleys. From what the, hell the is middle that place? of November what? through the middle of January, the sun never comes above the horizon. And then in the summer, the sun never sets. We come from I couldn't a culture do it. I couldn't called do it. the Inupiat. So the Inupiat people are um, continue to be um, very dependent on the resources. You know, we harvest bowhead whales, caribou, migratory birds, we fish who I am is heavily influenced by the community that I was raised in. It has nothing to do with basketball, but just about being a good person and about showing respect to the people around you because without them and without- From the looks of it, it looks like his dad's um, Watching on the Filipino side. Watching kids from the lower 48 and other schools outside of Alaska and seeing the level of skill that he had. That's when I knew. Here we go, here's the, here we go. This is what we're here for right here. Oh, come on, show me some, show me some. Big body, let's get it. Ah, cross him. Ah, too big. Oh, oh, oh. I'm six foot nine, kind of lanky. Six foot the main nine, I've been god recruited. damn. Is my ability to shoot the ball and kind of stretch out the offense. Oh man, he's six nine and he can shoot the ball. He's yeah, he's. He's D1, here he comes. D1, here he comes. D1. D1, easily. If you're 6'9 and you can shoot the ball well, you're getting picked up. You're getting picked up. Another thing that motivates me to work really hard. Oh, this kid looks raw as fuck. You gotta be doing more than he does. For real. Everybody practices an hour and a half, two hours a day. So what are you gonna do to get better than them? Get that extra hour, get those extra hours in. I was gifted with, I wasn't always good at basketball. One thing that really drives me to be better is understanding how important it is to to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, that shit's hard, man. What's being really com important about getting comfortable to be uncomfortable? That how shit. Long you will continue I still can't even do that. But the opportunities outside of them, the, the relationships that you build in the process of getting better and playing basketball. I mean, I feel like there's no secret to to uh, to reaching your goals. Obviously, you have to put in the work. Yep, exactly. I want to be that role Hard work model pays that off, kids man. look up to and see that it is possible to reach your goals. Hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. It's currently number one ranked recruit in Oregon and 49 nationally. Yo, he is real, okay? He will play for the University of Texas next season. That's what's up, man. That's dope. That's fucking sick, man. That's what's up. I like that. Well, there you have it. T squad Kamaka Hippers. Um, I know this wasn't really like a highlight tape, but I really wanted to watch this just to get a feel for who he is because not many players that I've watched have something like this where like you can go like kind of like into their lives to get a feel for who they are. So this was really cool to watch. I actually enjoyed this. Um, it just gave me a different sense of you know because usually when you watch basketball like you just see like them on the court and this kind of gave me like a feel for who he was as a person his background his family what it was like for him growing up and it just made me like appreciate his talent a whole lot more does that make sense to you guys so this was a really cool video um shout out to whoever sent me this video. i can't remember who, was, who sent me i have to go through my comments but shout out to you who sent me this video this is such a cool video so thank you for that like I said, he is the legit real deal, man. Number one in Oregon, 49 nationally. He's going to Texas next season. The kid's going to destroy it. I'm calling it now. He may not like be like crazy. I, I don't know. I actually don't know. I actually don't want to make any claims right now because he could go to Texas and just destroy in D1. So I don't really know what this kid's going to be like in the D1, man, playing against all those huge names that we already know about in D1 basketball. So it's going to be so cool seeing him there do his thing, man. Hopefully he can make it to the NBA. That would be so fucking cool um, if he does. That Are there any Filipinos apart from, well, there's Jordan Clarkson. He's like a little bit um, playing in the NBA. Is there any others? I have, I honestly have no idea. I honestly have no idea, man. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. It really does mean a lot to me. If you want to see me react to any other kind of video, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below, and I will get around to the majority or most of them when I can. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.